welcome to Vision 2014. My name's Colin Pierce. I'm the CEO of Active Silicon, and I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about the company, our products, and a few of the demos that we've got here on display. So first of all, the company, what do we do? Well, there's three areas to the company. The first area is frame grabbers. And there's a range of them behind me here. Um, so number one is frame grabbers. And uh, to give you an idea of what they look like, um, this would be one here. Um, they're basically acquisition cards that plug into a PC and connect to a camera. Now, typically, it tends to be high-end cameras, high-speed, where frame grabbers have a great advantage over USB 3 or Giggy Vision, which simply can't keep up. So frame grabbers would be the first area of technology we're involved with. Um, the second area would be at the camera end. So we've got the receiver of the frame grabber, and at the camera end, there's the transmitter end. So, for example, these here are small modules that fit into cameras, and they take camera data and they convert it to a particular standard. For example, this one is CoExpress. Uh, this one here is HDSDI. Um, and these are formats we support uh, from the frame grabber side as well. The third area of the business is embedded systems. And uh, we have some examples here. And this is where we're integrating all the technology onto uh, a single board, or a, in this case, a, a mezzanine uh, construction. So what I'd like to do now is focus in a little bit more on the embedded technology. So if we pick up this one here, um, this is a good example. So this is a customized board here, and we have a plug-on processor module. Now, the benefit with a plug-on processor module is that you can choose different types of processors, different speed, performance, etc. Now, the problem we're solving here, if we look back to how a conventional PC-based system would be put together, you've got your motherboard, and then you would have one, two, or three or four plugged-in cards, um, and that would pr produce your system, which is fine for low volume. But when it moves into production, dealing with an OEM, we believe we have a much better solution, and that's where these type of systems come in. What we're doing here, we're actually integrating all the I.O. functionality onto a single board. So what does that give us? Well, immediate benefit already is that it's a more compact system. Um, we've got all this, the I.O. integrated onto the board. Um, it also makes it more reliable. But the key benefit is that this board is now stable, and we can provide the same board for a long time. The problem with using off-the-shelf motherboards, even the ones they may support the ATX format, whatever standard, um, the reality is, is that every two or three years, things change in the PC industry, and the connectors, the position changes slightly, or there's some new standard that comes along. And, that, and that's a problem. That's a problem if you're a medical OEM and you've got a 10-year or more lifetime. So that's where the embedded systems come in. So, uh, and we've got a, another few examples here. This is uh, another type of one that we've done. Um, and there's uh, many others behind me here, actually. Uh, so that completes a, a quick intro. Um, what we're going to do now, we're just going to walk around the booth and have a look at some of the other demos that we've got going on here. This is the first of several demos I'd like to show you. Um, this is our uh, top of the range co-express board. It has four channels on it. So it's a four link co-express board. And what we're showing here is four different cameras, all co-express technology, and we're capturing into uh, one camera per port here. Um, and we're displaying various applications up here. We've got some analysis going on. Um, we've got a thermal camera here. So this is the first time we've seen a therm thermal camera uh, supporting CoExpress. Um, we've got the Sony block camera here with our CoExpress converter board on the back. Um, so th the big benefit of CoExpress is that you can do long cables. There's power and data control all over the same cable. Um, this particular board, very high speed. We can do 600 megabytes per second per channel here. So the board in total is acquiring at 2.4 gigabytes per second. So now I'd like to move on to the next demo. Um, this is another demo I'd like to show you. This is CoExpress again, but this really shows some of the power that you can do with CoExpress. So here we've got, um, again, Sony Block Camera, one of our uh, interface boards in the back. Um, but we've just got single coax going down here, and it's going through this rotary joint. Now, this is one of the great benefits of CoExpress, that uh, going through a rotary joint like this, uh, or slip rings, the other name, you can keep spinning around and it won't get twisted up. Now, because we've got power, data, and control all over the same cable, it allows us to do this. So not only that, we've got long cables going on here. This is 60 meters here, but we can do up to a couple of hundred meters now with the latest technology. Um, and we've got a nice little demo here demonstrating it, and you can see the image warping to, to show that um, uh, we're, we're squeezing all the data through this little joint here. This is the third and final demo that I'd like to show you. What we're showcasing here 
is a typical machine vision application. And I really want to talk more about the software side of what we do. Obviously with the frame grabbers, we need a lot of software drivers behind it to support different machine vision applications um, and uh, APIs that are available. So this particular one here, we're using a Jai camera. It's a Twin Co Express uh, camera. We're feeding that into our grabber. And then we've got a driver for Cognix Vision Pro, which is doing some recognition and counting um, application on the screen here. Um, as well as that, we've got another camera here, high-speed uh, Micatron camera, which we can uh, use to, to record the motion. Um, and that's really for a bit of fun to show motion replay. And uh, uh, we, we have a gun here, and we, can be, we shoot the bugs as well. So it kind of makes for a bit of fun at the show. So hopefully that's given you an insight into us as a company and the products we do and some of the demos we have here at the show. I do appreciate you spending time to taking the time to watch this video. Um, if you think there's something we can do to help you, please do contact us at activesilicon.com. Thank you.